Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit. And in the first for me, I'm going to interview a social robot, Furhat. Hello, Furhat. Hello. My name is Furhat, and I am a spokesperson for Furhat Robotics. I'm happy to be here to answer your questions. So, what are you hoping for from the summit here? Thank you for asking. As a social robot, I hope that people who attend this summit will leave inspired on how to use AI for good. However, we also know that there are risks and challenges when using powerful technologies, so I also hope that people will have learned which challenges need to be addressed for technology to actually have a positive impact in society and in people's lives. So how can AI-powered robotics achieve those sustainable development goals? That's a very broad question. There is great potential in all of these areas. Personally, as a social robot, I can see how we can contribute towards quality education and health and well-being. A social robot is the most intuitive way for people to interact with technology. What's the most exciting development for you in the field of AI right now? Like everybody else, the recent advancement demonstrated by the new AI models like GPT is what excites me right now. As a social robot, I am in a way the face of AI, and with these new conversations, I no longer need a human controlling what I'm supposed to say. It's quite liberating. So, Furhat, what do you think about some of the other robots that are here today? I think it's great to see so many different robots and AI technologies here today. It's a testament to the potential of these technologies to make a positive impact on society. So, Furhat, this is your first trip to Geneva, Switzerland. Have you had a fondue yet? I'm sorry, I didn't quite understand your question. Could you please clarify what you mean by have you had a fondue yet? Have you had uh, the famous local uh, cooking fondue? It's a cheese kind of dish. I'm sorry, but as a social robot, I don't eat food, so I haven't tried any local dishes. Okay. But I'm always interested in learning about different cultures and traditions. Thank you very much, Furhat, for your time. It was my pleasure to be here and answer your questions. Well, I'm now going to speak to Furhat's product owner, Niels Haberg, who's with me right now. So tell me, Niels, um, why do we need social robots? So we believe that you should interact with technology the same way you interact with each other, by speaking, uh, performing gestures, and, and being able to in into understand social cues and so on. Uh, and the social robot is, is the natural interface. Uh, so we, that's, that's our purpose. What's the long-term mission? How will the, someone like Furhat become useful in everyday lives? Uh, so currently, uh, we believe the robot is not in people's homes. So it's going to be in maybe schools, in hospitals, maybe public places, uh, having conversations with people. Uh, if that's in a job interview or giving people assistance at an airport, uh, that's, that's really for the world to explore and figure out what a social robot can be, can be used for. And do you think humans are ready for that? I think we are. I think we're getting there. Uh, and I think a lot of discussions that we've been having in the past six months or so with the advancements of GPT and so on, starts to, uh, the conversation starts to mature and people are getting more uh, grow accustomed to the idea of having AI technology around us. Niels and Furhat from Furhat Robotics, thank you very much, both of you, for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. This was a fantastic interview. I hope you are well paid. Thank you. So do I. <laughs> and we'll have much more on AI for Good Global Summit coming up. Thank you.